yesterday, some of the abducted Dapchi school girls were released by Boko Haram. However, there's so many, so many unanswered questions trailing the release of these girls. Questions like how did the terrorists take them in the first place? Hmm. How did they even return them with 11 trucks? Oh my God. And leave smoothly without any issues? So many questions. Should government give in to the terms of terrorists? And most importantly, how do we ensure it never happens again? Joining us on the show is a security expert, Richard Amua. Welcome to the show, sir. Thanks for having me. As I said, we're not, I mean, we're thankful that, that the back. girls are back. Yep. Yep. And obviously it's a bittersweet experience because mm. five, we lost five girls and uh, one of the girls said that they actually died out of um, stampede. Uh, stampede, trauma, trauma and all that. So, yeah. But the whole episode leaves so many unanswered questions. Mm. So many. And I hear there's conspiracy theories springing up from left, right and center. Mm. In your view as a security expert, because the, most, the first question that came to me is that you think that when you return this girl, when, when the Boko Haram are returning the girls, there's some kind of a stakeout that after they drop the girls off, somewhere, somewhere they are captured somewhere. You know, I'm thinking about watching many Hollywood movies that <laughs> you are leaving, you brought the girls, you deliver the girls, and you, the empty trucks are leaving smoothly out of the town and you just come back. No, 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 no. And, and they are waving at them. And they are waving taking and they're pictures. taking pictures with them. Something uh, doesn't add up um, at all. And then that means that if they came with nine trucks, uh -huh. They must have left with nine trucks. Yes. You mean they left the town with nine trucks? No one saw, saw them. Saw so them. this the kind of questions happen. I mean, what are Ryan, what you, you, please, you, you, uh, Let him answer all the questions together. Uh, uh, May uh, I bring all the mm. other conspiracy mm. theories mm. that we have heard? Remember on Monday, we were saying that the Minister of Defense over the weekend was saying on two a weeks. TV station, eh, one week, two weeks, they'll mm. be back. Yeah. And Miriam asked a fundamental question, sir. Are you in talks with them? Mm -hmm. And Nima said, wherever the talks are, so I just make Bring sure the that they're back. back. So some people are saying that the federal government went to negotiate with them. Now, they're saying that Boko Haram has um, been broken into two factions, that the son of the initial or originator, Yusuf, is the one in charge of Dabchi. He's against Shekau. Mm. who is in charge of the Chibok abductions. And that's when he brought the girls back, he was saying to the people in the town that we don't rape, we, don't, we just don't want them in schools, schools and drop them off, waved to the people and left. Ew. Now, amongst the conspiracy theories is that could these abductions have been manipulated in such a way that uh, we heard the president say, my response so Dapchi girls was better than Jonathan's response to Chibok mm -hmm. girls. I was saying, sir, is this to score a political point? Let me allow you answer before I bring the rest. <laughs> I, I want to say to you that this is going to be one, one of the most difficult interview I'm granting. Mm. Seriously, because yesterday, two, three calls, I said, no, I'm not going to talk about this. Uh, so I just finishing call came in that I need to be on the view. I said, wow. Um, we have a WhatsApp group, the security consultant in Nigeria, and um, as of this morning, nobody can say anything about these um, Dabshi situations. Mm. Just like you women have said, I think that's a whole lot of thing that, um, that is going out there that need to meet the eyes. Um, I've been on uh, TV, Sibirifa show, and I said that this is a national embarrassment. Um, I, I, I just know what to describe what is going on right now. Mm. Uh, the opposition party, PDP, has came up with the fact that government is playing politics with the life of children. Um, the government themselves, the, uh, the government themselves right now, the APC, they have not really convinced Nigeria to show that this abduction was really real. Um, okay, taking it from uh, what you said, mm. for example, I, I, know I, I was shocked when Mr. President said that uh, their response was quicker than former, uh, pre uh, former government. So there are so many things. Okay, <coughs> let's look at what happened uh, yesterday. Mm. You are returning people. Okay, let's, okay let's, look, no, let's look at what happened when they returned the Chibo guests. Yes. None of us knew. We just woke up. And we heard, and about, we heard about it. Mm. Those guys dropped them somewhere, and government uh, um, a security agency went to pick them up and uh, took them to hospital. And all that. But this one was like a, a fun fair. Mm. <laughs> was like a fun fair. Fire. So, um, whatever <coughs> that is happening right now in Nigeria, I think we need to sit up and ask ourselves a question, one simple we need question. To ask questions. Could so, we say that, you yeah. know, we've been having this, uh, people have come up to say that um, the federal government usually negotiates with them and pays them. 
Oh, yeah. And that is why they have the strength to keep coming back yeah. to perpetuate that act. Are yeah. you, can we, see, from, because from the look of things right now, I feel like money had exchanged hands. You will well, not just wake said up. Money hasn't, that it didn't the government has no said money. so, but unconfirmed reports said over $20 million. It oh, can't oh, just no, happen. You can't just no, take no, him. We can't throw out figures there. Yeah. Okay, 100%. No, 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 I'd rather us not throw out figures. Let's not throw out figures. Okay, the government has come tell us that no cash was transferred. My question is. Exchanged. They came in and they took these girls. Yeah. Now they came out again and released the girls. Something must have, must have happened I that there were no security the, men the, the, around. And, and I have another question. It's a bit like hers because they've dropped the girls. The government has said nothing. Yeah. It was just, mm. the, um, I heard the Nine minister months. saying ah, that when they told them that, look, we're negotiating uh, the end of this thing. You have now, you have gone against the agreement. But when they dropped the girls, mm. they gave them and their parents warning, mm. but don't take them to school, to school again. Anymore. Now, is this a threat or a discussion? Or, or they, they say, if they, if they pull your ear, you hear word. Mm. Have the parents heard word? Because they, they have issued that threat. To me, it sounds like a threat. Yeah. Make sure it they don't go to school. You see, uh, what the government is telling me, no, no, no negotiation. See, government Government will always come and tell us issues, but let's be, let's look at insecurity business. What happened with this group? Uh, another uh, fashion have come to say that this is a real good business with government. Ew. What this what this uh, fashion have done Ew. in the sense that now they put a lot of fears in the in the minds of the of, of the parents, so that the, the Chekau group was too violent. But this group is not violent in the sense that they really want to get this jihad done by not getting. Uh, the, uh, the gay child educated in northeast of Nigeria, meaning that, okay, so they came and they spent, according to the story we read, that they spent about 20 minutes teaching and telling the parents what to do. Hey. That they should not get this girl back to school, but those are unconfirmed reports. They're unconfirmed because we, we had a yes, reporter in Yobe yes, and yes. he didn't, he so, didn't, he didn't, he didn't say that. that. So, Even the journalists, no, according to the uh, papers, yes, the they journalists were not giving yes, access to. to so, because you see, whether we like it or village. not, whether we like it or not, it's easy to get these information. It's a, we, are all, we are all communicators. It's, it's a question of just catching it from satellite. And all the information is dropping. We all know that there's doom here and there. You don't need to see the doom to know that it's taking information. Mm, yes. So, uh, we have so many sophisticated, sophisticated equipment that can tap on the phone. Yes. But what I'm saying is that, sorry, what I'm saying here is that, how do we go about this? Mm. That's my question I'm throwing. Right. If okay. Nigeria is saying government has set up this girl for an election, so how can we say that in the next 10, 20 years, it will not happen again. Won't happen. That's, that's point, okay, right? so I went to the official Twitter page of the president of Nigeria, and I'm going to quote, Minister of FMIC Nigeria, what happened was that the abduction itself was a breach of the ceasefire talks between the insurgents and the government. Hence, it became a moral burden on the abductors. Any report that we paid ransom or engaged in prisoner swap is false. Please, the phrase moral burden with terrorists. No, they they have morals. Morals. Which terrorist is going to do moral They don't do that. It's an, it an interpretation now. Mm. Of what? Saying that. <laughs> what? Please, of what? please, can you define moral for okay. me? Okay, we're having and tell me, we're a, having a terrorist. Do, 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 will a terrorist have what any moral body? Mm. Mm. Who? No, no, to no. suddenly change their mind. understanding from that tweet is that we're having ceasefire talks. Uh -huh. Don't touch, no, don't, no, no more bombings, no, no more this, no more that. But no more abductions. Wait, see. Wait, and that we've, all, we've, all, we've all agreed that B. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, maybe there was some kind of X, Y, Z thing they were supposed to give and they didn't give. Then I said, now it's going to capture. It still boils down to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. They said that. So, we, um, the Nigerian police and Nigerian army were saying, eh, we, we do the Nigerian army. We told the Nigerian police we were leaving. Right. Anyway, that was during the abductions. When they were bringing the girls back, right. not, not, security not agent. one security post was found anywhere. All over. <laughs> they came freely <laughs> in nine that, trucks. That is where I got security. That, that's my she own issue. Explain, no. Because <laughs> what happened? If, I, if, I, if I watch Hollywood fact, movies, mm. we'll come back to the that's girls. That's the moral burden. <laughs> 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 Because we have to go in a few seconds. What, how do you enter a town with, I think I heard it was 11 trucks actually. 11 trucks, zoom in, drop them off. Zoom out. And zoom out. Nobody, 
No military, no fair flying helicopter air force saying, you know what, here they are, That's blow them up, catch them, do something. Everything has been settled. I, don't, I mean, they drove back. No. <laughs> Taking <laughs> pictures. Yeah. No, uh, no uh, we, we might, our viewers might think that we're, um, we're not really smarter with uh, this situation, but it looked like Hollywood movie. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's, uh, let's, yeah. go. let's go on Did the boat. Uh, play, play, can you, what's that film that was popular last week? Two weeks ago. Uh, no, Black those Panda. black people. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> uh, when they enter some Mr. Boris. Yes. Yes. Please, let's go on a break. Let's talk about it. Five girls have died. Let's change our mood here. Yeah. Five young girls died, unfortunately. We'll talk about the girls when we come back. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So I think it's a moral burden for the ladies to discuss the young girls that passed on, mm -hmm. right? Now, um, the the fact that one of the, the one of the girls said <coughs> that we, they, they passed on through due to trauma, and one was allegedly withheld. Now, then, now there was a story I'm hearing this morning that there was actually a boy released again. I, I, I don't know where the boy came from, mm -hmm. but I heard in the news this morning that a boy was also released. But this young girl that was withheld because of her religious um, beliefs. I don't know how true that is because on, on your Falaris program yesterday on this morning, somebody called him from Yoruba and saying mm. that never happened, that it was wrong, that conflicting report. So but they have a it changes name for keeps her. They changes. Have, they have oh, a name for but, her. but I saw the video of yes. the mother uh -huh. crying, uh -huh. the sister fainting. fainting. Ah. Ah. On video, on camera again. Ah, oh, ah. <laughs> what, is, what, is really, what is really happening? I, I think um, from day one, um, there's an issue between the government and even the the, uh, the, uh, the parents. The parents came up with the 105. The government came up with 110. So if today we have a boy among those people released too, uh, meaning where that uh, where did the boy come from? So those are the things we're saying. But I think for me, as a consultant security, I I want us to be looking at how do we move um, from here. How do we move from here? True. What is the next? You know, what's the next thing? For, because I've said it time to time number that if we put all the security apparatus in Nigeria in all the schools in Nigeria is not enough. True. So I think the Ministry of Education needs to start doing something right now, especially in the Northeast, to mm. start educating these children on issue of security. Okay. What and what do we do? Yes. I'm just saying, it's only in Nigeria you don't have three codes where you can, where you mm. can dial the security agency in case of emergency. I, we, no, eight years or nine years into Where is in Lagos now? No, we have in Lagos, but, okay. no, I'm talking about all, no, over, the all, over, country. all country. over the country. <clears throat> we are fighting just one, how many minutes, or how many seconds, or how many hours after 9 nine eleven? You know, you were saying International uh, yeah. said that they had called the Nigerian yeah. army, yes. given information no, that there are nine trucks headed towards that chief. And the Nigerian the army, army said, now said, they never got anything like that. Please, Amnesty International Nigeria, Prove it. tell us who you called. You see that? Mm. Yes, see, no. I said something here that there's means to get information. Amnesty would have had a drone up there in the sky mm -hmm. or wherever it is. But you see, the question here is that as a country, we need to sit together, we need to come together and discuss this issue of security. Okay. Let yes. me come to you now, yeah. yes. security consultant, right? Yes. Um, we, even if we talk from now to tomorrow, what has happened has happened. Yes. So like you mentioned, we should be looking at the way forward. Yeah. Now. Are you saying, what, what do you advise in terms of our military? How do we equip these people? Do, you, you said we don't have enough. Yes. How do we get more people to join the military? Because yeah. security is paramount, and that's yeah. why a lot of people cannot come. People are relocating. The way yeah, people travel out of this country, mm. it's terrible, it's alarming. Yeah. Nobody is safe, nobody thinks their children are safe. Mm. So how do we equip the military so that they can do what they are supposed to do? Military is well equipped. Mm. So let me quickly mm. Military well is well equipped. Ah. Mm. Remember that nine million dollars. Do, you know, do you know how many? Do you know how many? Do you know how many? Do you know how many plane mm. the, uh, the Air, Air Force, Force put on ground? Hundred. Uh, no. Hundred. I'm telling you for this for this two hundred uh, hundred plus guys. They told us hundred. They said they, they, they flew for like two hundred hours. hours. They said twenty no, of them see, flew for two hundred hours. The, the unfortunate thing is that insurgency. It's not even the military that fight insurgency. It's the police. Mm. Unfortunately, the police that is, is ineffective and in the Nigerian in, police oh, can yes. fight insurgents. Unfortunately, that is their job. Mm. 
You understand? When the military is in town, it's the police that's supposed to be in town, not military. Yes. Military is to fight war. Okay. Unfortunately, today in 36 states of Nigeria, you see the military taking the job of the police. So how do we equip the police? So how do you, it's easy. Okay. All these guys in government today, have they not been out of government? Didn't they see what is going on, even though they are being protected today? You see, the point here is that somebody is mm. making police not effective mm. because hey. of something. That's, a, that's an important point you just made. Yeah. Let me take this call from Yakub. Yakub, are you there? Yes. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yes, uh, I want to ask, uh, is this, this guy is a consultant or is just a... Because one thing I don't understand in PVC, are they doing investigation? Of course, the, 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 in journalism investigation before saying something. Because like now, I don't know the other one where I'm watching TVC. She was saying that uh, 11 trucks come in, 11 trucks from go out. Nine. Okay. In, in nine. Mm. What we are I'm thinking is that if there is a time that I'm watching TVC. One of the, the uh, journalists who was interviewing them is so saying that uh, that the uh, truck that sent uh, this student is standing in the house, he said that uh, the, the truck that sent and go back to. But what I don't understand, most of the journalists here, they are always think, saying what people hear or they will read the story in the, some the newspaper like Punch, Vanguard and everything, and say it without any investigation. This guy was saying here, he is saying that he is a security <coughs> consultant. Okay. Okay, please let me answer Yakubu. Okay, thank you very much. Yakubu, let me answer you, please. Uh, that's what we call new agency of Nigeria. You understand? They are, they, they are federal government owned agency. Mm. Their news is authentic. Or uh, as it called? Authentic. 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 Yeah. So as a journalist, I'm a journalist too. You pick if you pick and quote their news, you are right. And, so, and with the advent of news everywhere, you look a pick and choose the one you want. Just so, Google News, uh, Google you news. find it. So it's like mm -hmm. DJ to, Comedian you know. says, I beg you, I almost saw this happening. This whole Dabchi Girls episode be like Wash Jari. You can't deny it looks planned. Hmm. For Wobbs says, Jumoke, don't fall my hand, do. Moral body here means the abductors became born again. <laughs> <laughs> Only to backslide after dropping off the girls. Hello, I shall know Nigeria, meaning God will look after Nigeria. Engineer Raji says the whole issue of Dabchi might have may have things fishy, but as far as the release is concerned, it will be part of negotiations that army should be withdrawn from the place the girls will be dropped off and they will also want to harm them. Oh, we heard that, that the army may have stayed away Andrew, based on their negotiations. Mm, Andrew says the British government offered the Nigerian government their spy satellites to track the vehicles that abducted those girls, but the Nigerian government rejected the idea. Something ain't right. Ayola says the, the military knew they brought the girls but stood down security they, they, according they, they, to the agreement of the federal government with the abductors they were <clears throat> that there won't be a show of force against them such things happen during hostage negotiations world over henry ejeregbe says do terrorists embark on wasteful ventures boko haram foiled their tanks for the kidnap and return of the girls they also fed them for weeks, and it beats my close. imagination to hear government say no cash was given in exchange of the Dapchi girls. Well, I think government should tell us the truth. Let's look at the other side, in fairness to the government, because yeah. if they had not gotten back these girls, we'll all still be here and say, just oh, bring them bring back the by girls. any means possible. Yeah. You know, mm. so, when they now, when, so when they bring them back, we now start yeah. looking at all this conspiracy theory. Why can't we just accept that, yes, the government did exactly no, what no, it had no, to do? No, no, no if no, the government was back, truthful. Honesty! Guys, we are not on TV to say government have not done well or has done well. What we are looking at this in, in totality. Yeah. You see, and how do we uh, move, how do we from, move here? from here? You see, government have done well <laughs> for bringing these guys back. But people are still saying, how did even this guy, how did they leave? And that question, you know, those are the questions. Is that question necessary now? Is it because no, oh, they came no, back? No, 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 no. It's if you necessary. Don't ask that question it's now. How do you move if on? they take them again, again. tomorrow? Yes. So we'll keep on going ping pong. Or again tomorrow, we have another government again who comes to power and the same thing happening again. again. Mm. So we need to sit down and it's a moral burden Antecedent. to all of us. It's as a, a moral burden. <laughs> all, on all of us. Okay. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not only us. Mm. Boko Haram going to have a moral body. <laughs> I think we have to, <laughs> we have to ensure that. And this moral body issue. Let's yes. just move on, yes. please. Yeah, Can we wrap up the show? Yes. yes. So Security for me, consultants. I think quickly, yes, I'm going to say that, please, government to empower the police. Mm. Yes, no, 350,000 men and women.
you know, providing security for over 180 million, mm. it's not right. right. You know, as I'm talking right now, a lot of police have been moved to Lagos. They don't have where, where to stay. You know, they're human. You know, they, there's so much... So, so your, your, more your solution apply and the, and, and the, the police are stressed. Right. So your, your solution is the police should the actually yes. be equipped, equipped. Yes. to actually support we the army, more especially. Yes. 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 Well, and their pension right. paid. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, that's all we can take on this show. <sighs> Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. What's tomorrow the president's moral body? Go, go. <laughs> president.